left our friends asleep. Let's see where they are now. Cora and Flora woke slowly to the sounds of jungle noises. Frogs were booming, birds chirruping and various animals were calling to each other. In the distance, they could hear the squawk of a parrot. The squawking seemed to be getting closer and as they sat up on the beds, they saw a bright blue and red parrot land on the railing of the tree house. Dorian, help! shouted the parrot in a raspy voice. I saw you last night, said Cora, before I fell asleep. Last night, replied the parrot. Last night, fell asleep. Well, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Oh, he's a bit loud, isn't he, said Flora. A bit loud, a bit loud. We heard you the first time, said Cora, putting on her shoes. The parrot stood on the railing and spread his wings wide. His wingspan was nearly as tall as Cora and the bright feathers sparkled in the morning sun. Glory and hope! What do you mean? asked Flora. Glory and hope. <gasps> it's a clue! exclaimed Cora. Check the manuscript! They uncurled the precious scroll and sure enough, one of the characteristics of the great king was glory and hope. How do you have glory and hope? They asked the parrot. The parrot, in the way of parrots, had been politely stropping his beak on the railing while they checked the manuscript and looked up. He seemed to settle down on his claws and opened one wing. Your wing was broken, was mended by the great king, and you're not lying. Not lying! Not lying! Squawked the parrot again. Glory and help! Yeah, okay, you're not lying. The king mended your wing, and I could see that would give you glory and hope, answered Flora. This fits all we've heard about the king of the jungle. He rescued you, redeemed you. He's great and good and merciful. We're back on the right track! cried Cora excitedly. King of the jungle, mused Flora. Wasn't the snake, though he was clever and cunning. Wasn't the gorilla, though he was strong and mighty. Do you suppose he could be a lion? Not lion! Not lion! Glory and hope! Yes, I know you're not lying! shouted Flora in reply. Flora! Oh, sorry, said Flora. Do you think you could show us the way? I do believe you have met the king of the jungle. I can't see how your wing would be mended enough otherwise. The parrot backflipped off the railing and spiraled down to the floor of the forest, screaming, Gloria, no! as he went and go low, go low. I suppose we'll have to go down if we're gonna go low, chuckled Flora. I can't see how we're gonna fly. The two explorers gathered up their belongings, straightened the beds, and made their way down the ladder to the first floor. The parrot was sitting on a lower branch, waiting. Okay, said Cora, shouldering her pack. Which way? The parrot stretched out a wing, pointing to the south. He hopped onto the forest floor and sort of hopped around in front of them, but you could tell it was not a way he was comfortable traveling. Why don't you fly in front of us, said Flora. We'll try to keep up. Well, we're hardly going to go high, are we? And so they walked on through the jungle. Every now and then the parrot would appear behind them and fly past them, vroom, like an arrow pointing the way, shouting his message of glory and hope as he went. After a long morning's walking, he flew ahead of them and perched on a tree. Glory and hope! He pointed a wing beyond the tree to a clearing. There was a well-kept path leading into the clearing. Here we go, Flora, said Cora. I'm not sure if I'm nervous or afraid, said Flora. Glory and hope, said the parrot, nodding. 
and stepped onto the path to see where it would lead. <laughs>